Hey guys, welcome back. So, today, uh, we're doing something a little bit, well, we've done it before, just we haven't done it in a minute, and that's just because I haven't actually been uh, getting all that much in the way of new stuff lately. Um, but uh, I went ahead, at, bleh, English, uh, but I went ahead and got this, and I'll be, actually, I'm, uh, I'll be getting some more stuff soon. Uh, which I'll be doing more reviews on. Now, I am aware that probably these reviews are uh, incredibly late, sometimes a year late, sometimes just a few months, sometimes, you know, it's kind of just whatever. But in the future, um, I have a couple of things that are going to be relatively new, but regardless of how uh, on time or late these reviews are, I am mostly just reviewing the stuff that I get, the stuff that's new, the stuff that I haven't featured on the channel before that, uh, maybe are deserving of another look or are brand new. Um, so with that being said, um, this is the second time filming this video because I didn't do a very good job the first time. So, um, I've actually already unboxed it as you can see here. Um, so it's a Kato engine, it, or uh, engine, blah. So it's a Kato car. It is the, I should specify of what this is. I haven't told you guys what this is. We're taking a look at the Kato, uh, I'm really rusty guys, I do apologize. We're taking to a look today at the Kato Amtrak Superliner uh, Transition Sleeper. Um, which again, I've already unboxed, but it's, it's fine. So here it is. Um, and uh, in it came, it came with um, some bubble wrap on, on the top, which has now slid off my table. Oh boy. Almost off my table. Uh, it came with a little parts pack for a different type of coupler that I'm not familiar with um, to be installed. And it has a different type of coupler I'm not exactly familiar with on it. Uh, this is only my second Kato anything that I have had. The first, funnily enough, being the engine that pulls these, uh, the P42, um, and of course also some instructions on how to do stuff like, uh, how to replace the, oh, it's Kato kinematic couplers are the other ones on there, or maybe these are them, I'm not exactly sure, um, but how to how to do stuff like install like some lighting stuff and the uh, lighting kits um, and everything, which I will be installing some lighting kits in this thing. I think that this thing is going to look really good with lights because it has an interior, which I'm really excited about. Because the other ones that I have are garbage comparison; uh, they don't have interiors. So uh, that's what comes in it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay guys, so taking a look at it, we um, have the incredibly bright square that you see in front of you, uh, which is a vent that just happens to be reflecting the light from the uh, 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 light that I have just perfectly and reflecting it directly back into the camera lens so it looks like a giant um, square of white, even though it isn't. So there you can kind of see the vent a little bit better. Um, zooming in a little bit more so we can see some of the details. You can just kind of see on camera the uh, interior detail just a little bit here and there um, uh, poking out. Uh, you of course have over here, um, it's hard to see from the camera angle that I have it at, but those are uh, separately applied grab irons. All of the writing is legible if the camera actually will focus on it, <laughs> which of course it doesn't want to, but that's fine. It is in fact legible uh, writing, and I believe even the really small stuff um, like this down here is legible under magnification. Um, you of course have uh, the truck detail there, focus, stupid camera. There we go, you of course have the truck detail there, which you can kind of see, um, end detail, you of course have um, two ends to this car, uh, one end 
being the lower um, end door um, and the other end being the upper end door. The idea being that this is a transition sleeper, so you transition from the door being on top uh, on the second floor to the door being on the first floor. Um, and of course, better a better look at the um, grab irons, separately applied grab irons. Um, spots for marker lights on both ends on both sides, if you so wish to install them. Looking down the car, um, again, I believe even this tiny mag uh, um, lettering is visible under magnification. You, of course, have the ribbing detail and everything, as well as vents and everything all along the car. Other end, uh, some maintenance doors and vents and uh, all of that. Okay, we've got our weight test. Carefully set it on there. And it is uh, about uh, 8.11 ounces or 8.8. .8. It's not really sure. Uh, that's milliliters, and I really don't think anybody needs to know milliliters on this thing. But if you want to, there you go. There is it in grams. There is it in pounds. There is it in pounds and ounces, which you guys can just see it on camera. And back to ounces. All right, guys. So it looks like, can't really tell. It looks like it might be just a hair low. And that one looks a little bit lower than it actually is because it's on a slight incline. Uh, it isn't actually that low. That's just where I have the camera positioned. It is considerably less lower than that, but then I'd have to move the camera, and I've kind of got it all set up. So, you know, take my word for it again. It is more or less... It is more or less there, and I've been running it uh, for a little while today already, so I can pretty much say with absolute certainty this thing has no coupler issues. For the most part, anyway. Uh, at least I have had yet to experience them, so it's relatively reliable. Uh, so, that's that. And I've got one final test I'd like to do with it, um, but I will do that uh, as I do some closing thoughts. Alright, guys, so that is pretty much it for this. The, that last test that I mentioned was can it go around 18-inch um, radius curves. For those of you who are, um, do not know, on my layout, the uh, outer, we have two, I have two loops essentially, and the out, outer loop has 22-ish inch radius. Definitely is a lie in some locations, but um, it's supposed to be 22-inch radius curves. Where the any inner that nah, English, uh, where, whereas the inner loop only has uh, 18 inch radius curves in most places, uh, which means bigger stuff can run on the outer loop and smaller stuff can run on the on, on either either one I guess, um, but uh, so I, I figured I might as well test it and it can, but just because you can do something does not mean you should like like if you want to run this thing on an 18 inch radius curved uh, layout you're more than welcome to you do you but um, it does look pretty ridiculous doing it I'm not gonna lie it was it was pretty bad looking um, 
and on my layout I have a couple of places where there's uh, clearance issues so uh, it had some trouble there but I mean it handled the curves themselves just fine so long as nothing else was in the way but again I mean you can do it if you want to or if you have a spot on your layout that you need to it's just not very it overhangs a lot and um, uh, it gets very very close on like the corners um, yeah, like uh, in between cars and stuff it, it can get very very close so it doesn't look very good but you can if you need to uh, I just wanted to test that um, for the sake of argument and uh, other than that um, it, this is an amazing car and I really really like it uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, it is so much better than the other here I'll just pull forward for you guys really quickly this is the stuff that I have been working with um, and it's not so much that they're phase three so much as like everything is molded on and the shine just isn't quite right like look at the like the shine on this you can tell I mean it's a little bit not right on camera but you can tell that like it looks correct you know it looks so much more correct than the other ones um, but I got the other ones cheap um, so that I could have them whereas this is the beginning of me building up my small Amtrak fleet. I don't really, I'm not, uh, I'm a steam era guy more than anything, but I do like the modern stuff enough that I am kind of want, uh, that I've kind of been looking into getting some more of it. For example, this Kato Transition Sleeper. Um, and I will absolutely be getting more, so look forward to a couple more reviews in the future, possibly some, um, videos on installing the lighting kits in these because I'm absolutely going to be doing that. I, I think I will anyway. Um, I'm like 90% certain that I'm going to because um, they do have full interiors. I can't really show you guys, but they do. Um, and uh, so be stay tuned for that for sure because it's absolutely going to be happening. Um, and I'll also be getting, um, because I'm starting to lengthen the train and everything, I'll also be getting a second P-42 um, to help pull it. Uh, and that's actually going to be the, uh, well, you guys probably, probably if you have kept up with current uh, manufacturer news and everything, you probably know which one it is. Um, hint, uh, Athern. So, uh, you guys will see. That, whenever it comes out, I will be getting one brand new uh, of those. But, um, but anyway, uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love this new car. It's a great addition to my uh, fleet. Um, and I'm super excited to start getting some better looking Amtrak cars. And, um... I'm going to make some really nice looking videos with this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, uh, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps me out to know that you guys are enjoying uh, the videos. And also, if you have any questions or comments or uh, anything like that, uh, be sure to post it in the comments. I always read all my comments. I try to reply to as many of them as I can. So um, I may be a little bit late at replying as well, but I try to reply as quickly as I can. So. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Don't forget, enjoy the run-by.